Hey guys, welcome back to Project Tesla. So if you clicked on this video, you are probably wondering, hey, what is the best way to charge the Tesla? The many things that people are kind of afraid of in electric vehicles is really charging. Think about it. If charging was as quick as, well, I should say, as quick and as widely available as a gas station, I think there would be a lot more people buying electric cars. So if you are thinking about buying a Tesla in the coming months or maybe in the coming years and you are just curious on the best way uh, to charge the Tesla, this video is for you. I'm going to show you guys an example of how I charge the Tesla uh, later on in this video. But first, I want to talk about what are the levels of charging that you can expect in your Tesla vehicle. So when you first buy a Tesla, it's going to it's going to come with a mobile charger. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen one of those before. Now, that mobile charger is going to connect to your house outlet, whether it be a 120 outlet if you guys are in uh, here in the United States, or you can actually buy I think it's like a $30 attachment where you take off the 120 outlet and you put on the 240 outlet. So you can plug it into something like a dryer outlet, which is uh, a NEMA 1450. The NEMA 1450 is what I would like to say is a level two charger. From the level two charger, you will be able to charge your Tesla of up to 35 miles per one hour of charge. So if you charge it for one hour, you are going to gain 35 miles on the car. The level one charger, or as I like to say it, the normal standard house outlet that you can charge your phone from, that is a little bit slower. That is going to charge your car depending on how old your house is. Some older houses has, uh, have very old uh, electrical uh, circuits. Uh, so you, if you have an older house, you might be able to uh, get like three miles of one hour of charge. If your house is newer like mine, you can expect somewhere between uh, six and seven miles per hour of one charge. Now listen, if you drive maybe no more than 30 miles a day, that will be fine for you. You can simply charge overnight and you wake up and you have that extra 30 miles that you need to do for your daily commute. But if you're the type of person like me that, I mean, especially having a Tesla, you want to go out on little mini road trips. You want to just drive around. You want to experience the car. After all, you paid a lot of money for it. So why not use it? Why not drive the car? So if that sounds like you, yeah, you're going to want to upgrade to the level two charger uh, the, 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 the 240 outlet. Now Tesla does sell their, um, their $500 kind of mobile, uh, mobile, uh, fast charge. I guess you want to say it like that. I don't really recommend that because that will only charge your car about five miles per hour faster than the NEMA 1450. So you're going to be getting around 40, 42 miles an hour, uh, for one charge or for uh, for one hour of charge. I don't really think that's worth $500 to be honest. Um, but hey, I mean, if you drive a lot, maybe it's worth it for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I have done with my Tesla charger. So this is the setup that I have right here. I have the big, uh, I installed this right here. You have to call your local electrician and see how much this would cost you. For me, since it was a very, very short wiring, I mean, it literally starts right here and then it goes through this wall, through this wall, out of here, down here and into my secondary panel so my uh my original house panel or the, my main house panel is right over here so if he were to drag it from here up through the roof and all the way over there that would have obviously cost much much more than uh 200 but since it was such a very short distance it was about 250 bucks so when you first initially get the car you are going to get this little adapter which is the j1772 adapter i think and this is going to plug into your only your charge point uh, third party chargers now you might you might want to uh, ask tesla just to be sure because i they should still be including this this car is a march 2020 uh, and I did get it, but I think I've heard some people say that they did not get this. So make sure you get this, especially if you plan on going on road trips. This is what you're going to have installed automatically when you get your Tesla. So this is that level one charger I was talking about, which gets you between three and six miles an hour of charge. Now this little extension is about $35. Like I said, all you do is, is you, you just plug this out from the converter over here. Then you plug this in and then you plug this into a dryer outlet so if i plug this in right now it's going to start charging and i'm just 
gonna go into the car if I can get over this wire and show you guys let's see let's try to get a better view and show you guys that it is charging at 32 amps which is the most it can charge and it should it should be charging at 8 kilowatts now just for an example I'm at 56 percent and to get to 90 percent it's going to take two hours and 30 minutes uh, it may seem like a lot but you're not really ever going to be charging during the day you're going to be doing most of your charging at night um, so this right here is pretty uh, is, is, is honestly it's I don't even think about it I just charge it and, and, and that's it now as far as the breaker your uh, your electrician obviously it, by the way don't tell them that you're you're good you're getting an electric vehicle or you want to install for your electric vehicle I don't know if it's true but I heard that if they hear that they are going to charge you more because they think you, you know you have money so I don't know how true that is but just call your electrician say hey I need to install a dryer outlet, NEMA 1450. How much is it? They're gonna come to your house, do an estimate. Boom. Do not tell them it's for an electric vehicle. If you can, hide your car. Hide it. The breaker I got was a 50 amp breaker, which is plenty. You don't wanna really go over, um, or under 80, or over, oh yeah, over 80% of what you're going to be uh, using for a charge. So 50 amps is plenty if you're using 32 amps maximum power as you guys just saw in the car. And that's it. That's really it. This is the best way to charge your Tesla at home for the lowest amount of money. Again, that, that mobile charger that Tesla sells, uh, which actually comes with that little base station, that's $500. I spent $250 on the install for that right there. And then I also paid about, uh, well, $35 for the extension. So that is much, much cheaper. And you're only really losing out on, um, on like, five or six seven extra miles per hour again i don't really think it's worth it but again that all does depend on you if you guys want to see any more videos just let me know on what kind of video you guys want me to show you guys next on the tesla and if you are new here consider subscribing if you like what you saw and if you enjoyed the video click the like button as this is a new uh, channel and it will help me out greatly all right guys have a good one